I figured he'd have to do a little fabrication. Did it did it slide in between the dog though? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh you're kidding! Yeah, no, it fits there. Oh deadly! Oh yeah. 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 Good morning, friends. I friends, Ripsaw sent me some pretty fancy dancy stuff. And I'm liking it. I did have to slice the sleeves off, as you know, it gets a little warm in the body of Buck and Billy Ray. So I'm kind of a hot-blooded creature. And hey, let's face it, you're only young once, you gotta let the love hang out, brothers and sisters. How's everybody doing today? A Buck and Billy Ray video is not a Buck and Billy Ray video without interjections. She's live and real here, you know that. Now, I'm excited to share this with you because I know people have been seeing this and who I'm really excited to share it with is Kenzie's, my buddy who built that saw. Because I want folks to know this, and, and some do. Uh, John built me that saw. I've known him for years. He's been a guy that's been here since the start. And uh, he's always been a dude that's, I've been like, Ken's, can you find this for me? And boom, boom, boom. And he's just a very informational man when it comes to Power Salt World and the history and stuff. He, he really went down that road. I didn't. I just grabbed him and go. But anyways, uh, friends, the saw, the the people have been kind of wondered about the Makita. Well, we got the Makita, but when he had the saw, it had a different muffler on it. It had a longer throw on it, so it was able to, it was a pull, it created pull. Well, it, it was too long. It, it stuck out too long, and what would happen is you would get it, it would hit the log when you buck it, and he knew that. He had a, a, a gentleman build it for him. So they took it back, they shortened it, it completely changed the saw. Even though it was still there, when I got it here, I was like, oh, geez, that's interesting. It doesn't seem like the saw I saw in his videos. So this is why we've made this muffler for it. Friends, this thing looks nuts. It is nuts. You saw it on Morgan's channel. We call it the, ro the Robo. The Robo muffler. Um, it works like match. Changed the saw completely. And people who know their Dalmars and Makitas, they take very well to muffler mods. All two strokes do. But you can, you can also just have noise. But you can also, if you're a motor man and you've got feelies, hands, and vibration, you can feel when a saw works. You can listen for a poo, pa, 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 poo, poo. I think I do a little muffler dance for you. I know some of you like those. There, there's one in here. Pa, poo, poo, pa, poo, poo, poo. Anyway, there's lots going on in this video. All a lot to do with power saws and mufflers. Probably the odd interjection. I love you. Enjoy. Thanks for being here and welcome to the new subscribers. I see you coming in. Gainsies. Landfill rat. Friends, I want to send some love to the landfill rat. He needs our shine right now. Brothers and sisters, please. Landfill rat. He needs our prayers and our light. Thank you. So, I'm going to use... So Kenzie's, this is, this is a big moment. Friends, this has taken a long time and people's lives are busy. Everybody's lives are busy. I thought it was time to break out my Poulin hat again. It was getting crushed in amongst some other hats. So it's Poulin hat day today. We all know I love the Poulin. Poulin. So this saw is nuts and it's still in mint condition. It was from... My good buddy, I, I don't know who this is. I have no no idea, but I can definitely say that this power saw, friends, was from AJ from England. He sent it to me. And it was, we fell with it quite a bit. Me and Hogan, we were, it's a good, good saw. Strong, which it's, I, I don't, I think it's a, I'm not even sure what it is, friends. I think it's like a 73, 10 or something maybe it says here. Just a minute. Let's, let's have a look and see if we can find it. I honestly, oh, what's that? Right there, it's a 7300, right there. But it's been, there's been some magic happened here. I was always impressed with this saw, but. Dun, 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 
I wanted one of these for the longest time. Why? Because it's a Makita, friends. <laughs> and I know that Dalmar and Makita, they did just, they got a good name. But what happened is he made a muffler for it, friends. I think I have it here somewhere. It was completely different from the one that was on it. Here it is right here. There it is right there. And you know what he had to do, friends? He had, it was, it was, it was farther. So it had more pull. It created more pull. This saw just goes whim, bang, boom. And it changed the saw completely. Kenzie's agreed with me. So I said, well, Morgan, the pipe doctor. And we built this crazy, what we call robo pipe. Robo pipe. I have some problems with this top screw hole here. What's it doing to you? It must have got cross threaded. Not threading? Yeah. Is it, uh, oh yeah, I see. Is there anything in there? No, well, it's just chewed up the first three threads here, I guess. I wonder if maybe, maybe it was like that. Oh, well, I thought I'd put this in here to try it and it seemed to go in okay, but then I tried to put the pipe on and that's why I'm filing the, uh, that hole there. Yes it wasn't quite lined up to give it a little space yeah, yeah. gotcha okay so well, we'll get this friends we're just gonna we're gonna put this robo pipe on kenzie saw and take it out for a rip roar so so we got it friends we just it, you know what it's like trying to thread the hole that's had stuff in it and whatever so that went in nice morgan so very nice so we start the process and put on robo muffler this was an experiment morgan hi hi Okay, we got the tin can muffler on here from the Tin Man. Well, friends, if there's anyone out there with a 266 and you got a pipe on it, that bolting system that you're going to see right now, so that that's the AJ saw, right? And and the muffler that's on there is that the tin can, remember? That came on one of uh, Tin Man 66s. So I took it off a of 66 and bolted it right up to that saw. And we're working this thing out for that. And that was the whole plan. So we're getting there, friends. Ooh, that's throwing. Here it comes. Full squirt. Ooh. <laughs> you really need to press that button. <laughs> it's good. No, that, that thing's got balls. splutters and smokes a bit until it gets the, the metals get rolling can't actually hear anything now <laughs> morgan says he can't hear anything right now that muffler that so that ah, i just got the ear thing you get you know yeah, that was loud that was really loud but i'm going to tell you something when you put a muffler on a saw friends and it uh it kind of goes pop poop pop 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 i believe that's what it's supposed to happen one of the things that's supposed to happen i believe that i believe it is Another thing that's supposed to happen when you go firewood and out in the, the properties there in the back 40s and four buying through the back roads and stuff, you need one of these. Right? Just trying to entertain you a little bit. Speaking of that, you guys are all dirty. Maybe. I wonder, friends. I mean, do you really think it's possible for Buck and Billy Ray to do a little drumming right now? How would that make you feel inside? Cozy? Maybe warm? I don't know. Maybe you can tell me. 
you know, you know, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it'll feel nice, hey? I just got some information today that some axe handles are on their way. <laughs> yeah, I did. Actually, from UPS, so I got to get them to, you know, all the, how you got to, yeah, yeah, yeah. Morgan! Okay, friends, so you just saw, I, I hope, unless I throw, this is on. But, but the reason I fired it, friends, the reason I fired the muffler up, or fired the saw up, you guys didn't watch me, but you're gonna watch me do it here. Listen, if you're playing around with these mufflers, friends, and you're and you're putting mufflers on saws and this and that, I've had so many people say to me, Buck, and I, I put my muffler on, but I the muffler broke. I said, oh, okay, did, what, so did you bolt it up and then just go cutting with it? And you like the sound of it? And you started bucking firewood and all of a sudden, 10 minutes later, it rattled loose and broke? What happened? Nine times out of 10, that's what happened. Listen, I'm telling you, this goes with every exhaust. I'm sitting here with a master mechanic and I know this and I know he knows it, but you'd be surprised who doesn't know it, friends. He's gonna fire this saw. We got our, our Robo muffler. There's no, there's no decompression on this? On Kenzie's saw? No, if you don't see one, there isn't. So. so friends, you know that along the journey of my videos, you can either choose to skip through and miss little tidbits that will help you immensely along your journey and I'm talking about teeny little tips that only come from the bush or logging or the anyways enough said on that I, I don't want to it's just these things that I see people doing when they start power saws Morgan included Morgan's not a logger he's not a power saw he runs power saw just like a lot of men out there, but it's like the plumber who's plumbing the house or the, the, the do it yourself plumber or the, the do it yourself wire guy. Love it. But they don't know the tricks that the 40 year vet or the, you know, the 25 year vet or whoever. So you guys know how I start a power saw. I start it with my finger on the trigger trigger ready to go. When I hear what I need to hear when I'm starting a cold power saw it happens right here and I know what's going to happen. So I intervene. You choke the saw, you start it, pull two or three times or whatever that saw is going to do for you. And then it pops, right? It pops right then is your cue to either if you've got fast idle or, or you know what I mean? You use it because if you just pull again, if the saw's pristine and mint and working incredible it should fire once you turn the choke off but i've seen it guys will pull four four or five more times and it'll go pop, 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 pop. Pop, pop, pop. all you would need to do is freaking hit the trigger and it will fire so over 30 years oh well, that's 30 times three that's 100 pulls you could say <laughs> anyways you know what i'm saying well, here's here's here goes morgan with the, now, do you want me to start that for you, young man? Uh, no, no, I'll start it, I think. Okay. Choke might help. Okay, yeah, choke. So here goes our first fire. So when you fire a saw like this saw should fire right up. There it goes. Beautiful. Now, this is what I do. Go ahead, Morgan. Go ahead. So, do you see what I did? I gave it throttle. Because he could probably could have pulled two or three more times after it, it popped. That's why we do that. This sounds good.
why do you pull the cord out and turn the saw off? Well, this saw actually pulls back hard on the rope. Not all do. So if your saw doesn't, then don't worry about it. But find out if it does. So pull the cord up. This saw's Kenzie's. I love this freaking saw. We got a muffler that's going to make this thing pull now. Pull this up. Shut your saw off and see if it pulls back on your hand. If it does, then adopt that habit into that saw you're using. But if most not new saws, friends, they don't seem to do it. It's just a habit. You see guys do it a lot of it. So that's why we do it because it actually pulls back when you shut it. Most motors actually go backwards when they turn them off, don't they, Mort? You ever notice that? They can, yeah. They yeah. just go, sure. yeah. and that's what happens here or whatever how that works. It hurts the dogs over time. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, keep that rolling. <laughs> what I was going to say about this, friends. So, Morgan, you cranked on this. So, let me yeah, take no, this because yeah. you're you're stronger on the arm right now. I got, I, I did put them on pretty tight. You did, so but but let's see. Let, let's see. Yeah, they're still they're still pretty good. Okay, check check the other ones. And we didn't really run it for an hour or no. nothing like that. But <laughs> you see Tin Man's little short? I did. The muffler falling off. Yeah. <laughs> so, it, it's good. That's a good yeah. sign because you yeah. cranked them up. That's, good, yeah. good. They're so, good. all I'm saying, friends, is when you do stuff like this, fire it up, warm the machine up. I will still do it again when I put this thing in the wood. I'll bring the, the screw with us, the wrench, and I'll run it for a bit, and then I'll check the exhaust bolts because they do loosen up. This is, this is exciting to me. Friends, this will be the last interjection. I love you all. I'm having so much fun. It's even nice to just be able to have a partner to come in and kind of work with me on that. And uh, Morgan's such a good friend. You know, friends, that I met Morgan. He came over to the house. It's all on the channel. Literally, I think I knew him for a couple, three months, didn't I, babe? And we drove across Canada in, in Myrtle. Yeah. I, <laughs> I just knew. And he knew as well. Anyways, last interjection. Friends, there's more to this journey of going over there, but I want to, this is exciting to me and I'm a nerd about this stuff because I'm the pipe guy, but watch his finger. I, I come in and, and, and listen to the power saws. This is a stock 372. Once again, Kenzie's my buddy found this for me. They're legendary. Watch. So I want to share this last couple minutes. I'm not going to make this a half an hour video today because I'm just jumping all over and I got some stuff for you. But listen, enjoy. We'll do a... Uh, Morgan wanted to compare the UFO to the serpent muffler. So let's just look at that right now, that part of this puzzle. Did you see his finger, friends? Watch this.
so I got, uh, you're going to laugh at me and Morgan, especially me. Um, we got caught without a, a jet driver. Can, can you believe this? It, I, I can actually, because we're so excited. We're working on the pipes and I'm in an old truck that I don't usually have in the bush with me. So if you're caught out in the bush and you don't have a jet driver and you need one, usually you, I take my flat file, but we have nothing. Like we don't, there's no nothing here because we're just testing pipes. Get your flat file out, find a, a tool you can sacrifice. Or the, I use the end of my rat tail is what I do. And I make a flat file screwdriver like that. So we can, we can tune our carbs because this, this stock, this stock uh, saw over here, friends, it's screaming with this muffler on it, screaming. So I'm just going to fatten it just to, just a little bit. Look at the pipe. Look at this pipe, friends. I'm, I want to show you something. I'm going to switch hands. Look at this. So we ran it for just a few minutes. Th this serpent pipe is a problem. Gear run teed. Look at this. Look at the bluing. Look at that. Comes out. There's no big blue spots. What does that tell you, Morgan? There's, There's no restrictions. Look at, that's right, but look right there. Yeah. A little bit of blue, which tells that's, you. That's where it narrows down. That's right. right. Yeah. This, I'm not joking you. This is a wicked thing. Here's the, here's the expansion chamber, right? Yeah. And then narrow down and out she comes. I knew when I saw you building this pipe that we had a problem on our hands. So <laughs> do we need to fatten this thing up? So. There you go. How many, how much? Crack it back a quarter turn. Are you on? The, okay, good. That is the high jet, right? The well, I don't high. know. The one on the outside. Yeah. Okay, so fire it up and see what it sounds like. Fire, and, and crack it, uh, just hold it wide open because that should bark now a bit with that. Switch. friends did you notice when morgan had it that second time he went to start it um we fattened it up but that shouldn't really have done nothing anything really to the restart it was a little bit low on the, go back in the video and check it out it was a little bit low he kind of it stuttered a little bit did you notice that morgan when you fired it you may not have but i did it bogged a bit that's the low jet that's yeah. not enough fuel in that load which is fine if you're wanting a ton of throttle response and you're ripping roaring but for all around general good run and start and island and re going and doing just your basics, it's nice to just have it so it's there on start and all that racket. So this thing's tuned. This saw would run forever at this tune, forever. That muffler's nuts, dude. I, nuts. <laughs> but did you hear it get fat? Did you hear it choking on in the small that wood? Little one, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we were lean, buddy. You cracked that about a. a, a 
close to a quarter turn or a quarter turn which is good because you want to be safe yeah this is a bone stock saw so can we do a couple of like cuts time them time cuts and then put the ufo on and compare it do you want to do that yeah we can do that we'll set that up yeah okay i'll talk to you in a minute mufflers this is not a really sharp sharp saw it's stock i can't wait to put that on the, the one of the big bores harvey's big mm -hmm. bores well, speaking of that would this saw or pipe go on that saw these building for you now the serpent yeah actually yes it would oh so. actually i'm not sure i think he said no well i'll have to ask him Morgan wants to build a saw for that 95cc saw that Iron Horse is building me. He wants to uh, build a pipe, pardon me. These are nuts. Uh, straight up nuts. But here's a very interesting thing to look at right now, friends. See the bluing? See this pipe? No bluing anywhere except right there. Which is really interesting to me. Yeah, so... So, yeah, that is look at how beautiful that is, though. That is glorious. It's not dark blue. It comes around. Obviously, it's going to be hot there. Sloops around, and right there is where it starts to restrict. That's got nothing to do with the well, does it, Mark? It just it might. It might. But, okay. Yeah. What's underneath it? No, I. Well, yeah. Because I, guess. I could, I can't get in there to clean it out, right? So there could be a little bit of dangling. Yes, which is right. making it hot. So it might just restrict it right there, right? And of course there's, I don't know, there's... I think that's where it begins its restriction, there's, there's brother. There's more metal there maybe? I don't, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I don't know. That's hard to say, but it's beautiful. And, and look at that. Look at that, friends. That tells a story right freaking there. Because there, there, there's another weld though, Morgan. Yeah. And that's not that bad. No, but that's in a real unrestricted zone. It there. is, you're right. <laughs> It's quite hot. Yeah, it's still quite hot. A little bit of bluing here. Maybe we were blowing by, Mark, or? Oh, yeah. Could have been. Or it's not quite lined up, maybe, or something. Yeah. Because that pipe's never been run, has it? I don't know. I have run it. Oh, that, that's not blown by. No, I don't think so. No, that's not blown by. You'd see it. It's interesting why it got so... Whoa. Yeah. Huh. Could just be hot. Yeah, well, and that's... The hottest part really yeah right out of the shoot head these are interesting things friends to know so we're now we're putting this thing on and we're going to give it a run and it will actually i'll know in my hands friends i've done this so freaking many times i'll know in my hands that serpent pipe is ridiculous it's ridiculous this is a stock saw the chain is adequate it's adequate it's a hand file it's got a poulan grind on it no i'm kidding I love my Poulin hat. I haven't worn it for months. You gotta be in a good mood to wear the Poulin hat. Oh, look at Morgan. Oh, so we're not even gonna worry about those bottom bolts, Mark. We don't have them. Good. Doesn't line up anyway.
friends. Do you know, do you have any idea how, how fun this is for me? I just absolutely love it. I said there would be no more interjections, but there is. And it's this one, and it's me saying goodbye, and then I love you, and then I thank you for coming here, and the live feeders yesterday, what a freaking pleasure. There was a couple super chats that came through yesterday uh, that I actually, I think I missed. Steve Parsons. Stevie, buddy, you're a good man. I know you are. I've always known it. And I thank you for your little message yesterday and your super chat. And I like you too, Stevie. I always have. And I appreciate you, buddy. And I saw it later when I went back. And if there was some others that I haven't seen, I apologize. That means a lot to me, friends. I mean, that's a, you don't just throw dough at somebody if you're not enjoying what they're doing. So it means a lot to us and it does help. So Steve Parsons, thank you, brother. Friends, listen, here's my consensus. Um, we tuned that saw actually. So the tune you'll notice with the serpent muffler, you'll notice that it barks at four strokes at the beginning of the cut, which means you've lost time instantly. You've lost time. It's just how it rolls. Um, I tuned it. We didn't show that um, because when Morgan cut with the freaking serpent pipe, he's like, do you think we should shut that sucker down a bit? It's ripping screaming. And it did. And I cut a couple with it like that. And then I tuned it. And then we put the UFO pipe on. So friends, both of those pipes are incredible. But if I wanted, oh, it's a tough call. It's a tough call. Uh, you cannot go wrong either way. You just can't because I timed it. There was like a second of difference, one second. And that is so like, and it's one cut, right friends? So you know how that goes, right? Anyways, regardless, I'm not going to go on. I'm really enjoying doing this stuff. I always have. It's loud and it's hot rod and it's fun. And I like loud things and power saws and rip saw. Boys, thank you again. Friends, I'm going to leave rip saws uh, link. If you need ratchet, ratchet, do you know the ratchet thing to, for the bar wrenches, friends? That new ratchet bar wrench thing they got? They have that in there. They're getting the scoop to hoopski change that I run, the AXL or the EXL and the EXJ, which is skip. Don't be afraid to buy skip chain. If you're cutting big wood, we're going to go through a lot this year, friends. But Ripsaw, of course, Walkers is there. They do too if you're in Canada and around this area. But if you're in the States, uh, Ripsaw, these young men are on it. I'm very pleased with what I'm seeing with these guys, and they've been very helpful to me. Plus, I cut sleeves right off their shirt, and they didn't say nothing. Good fellas. They got all kinds of stuff in there, friends. Go see them. There's a link in the description. Go say hi to them and tell them Buck and sent you over. I love you, friends. Work hard, be honest, and be kind, friends. See you on the next one.